Hello, hello. How are you? Do you hear me? Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, teacher. I I have two problem with my camera, teacher, but I hear. It. Okay, you have problems with the camera, but you can hear. Nice. Uh, Christian, where are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm working tonight, like another. <laughs> as tonight. usual. Yes, as, as usual. As usual, you're working, okay? Uh, yes. um, not a problem, okay? Anyways, we have some presentations. If I'm not mistaken, there are some presentations that we have to talk about. Talking about the third, um, either a recipe or either anything that you can talk about, for example, any process that you do in your job, anything that you can do in your university, whatever. So this is the activity for today. So uh, I hope that you have prepared yourself. Espero que ya hayan pre practicado, ¿verdad? Ustedes, porque eso se los pedí desde ayer, ¿ok? I ask you to think about a favorite dish or favorite food that you would like to talk about this, how to prepare it. Mm, para eso, ya vimos el present perfect. Y también vimos el simple past, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre los simple present and los simple and the simple? Simple past and present perfect. What is the difference? Yes. The simple past is when, when an action was done. Mm -hmm. So yes, the simple past is when the action was finished and completed and done in the past, right? But present perfect? It is for events within a time period. A time period? Of, the, uh, time period? To the present. Yes, so we combine the simple past action among or along the past uh, I'm sorry, along the simple present action. Exa example, I have worked in English Corporativo for two years. Um, my students have worked or have studied in English Corporativo since last year, the last year pasado, right, guys? Okay, so we combine the simple past and the, and the present perfect. Si yo diría, yo estudié, es porque ya no estoy ahí, ¿verdad? Yes. Si yo digo, por ejemplo, eh, un compañero que no vea, por ejemplo, Cristian en Gisela. De los que ustedes vieron en sus ciclos o secciones anteriores, un nombre de alguien que ustedes digan, ah, ya no está. Él estudió, so he studied, porque ya no lo vimos nunca más, ¿verdad? Ahí se quedó. Entonces, eso es un simple pass. He studied, and he has studied, that is a present perfect. Eh, what is another difference? Aparte del uso, besides the usage, ¿qué más eh, podríamos hablar, guys? De otra diferencia, another difference... What is another another difference, guys? We use the verb in the in the uh, past uh, in the perfect continuum. 
Okay, so for present perfect, we use this the verb. Okay, uh, besides the verb that it's in present, sorry, that is in past participle, pas, un pasado participio. Si aparte de este pasado participio, también ocupamos el auxiliar. Have, ocupamos dos auxiliares, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles son? Have and has. Have, have and has. has. Y para pasado, su uh, auxiliar is? Was, were. No. Did. 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 Did, did. did. ok. Eh, solamente con los verbos, por ejemplo, verbo to be, ahí sí, pues, digo, I was, you were, they were, etc. Ok. Um, with that being said, ¿qué más nos falta, guys? Esta sección es súper fácil. Ok. Mm. So, uh, you can describe how to prepare your favorite dish or you can talk about your typical day. Ok. And then, for example, I can start saying, hey, you know, um, this morning I woke up, today I woke up, this morning I woke up very early because uh, I had to go to San Salvador. So, I took a shower, so I took a shower and had my breakfast. I started my job, puede decir después, then, ¿cuál otra podría decir que no he ocupado, guys? Today I woke So we have today I woke up early because I had to go to San Salvador. Fui, tuve que ir, tuve que ir a San Salvador. So I took a shower. Tengo otra unión de ideas. So, okay. So, puedo decir aquí entonces, first, entonces, primeramente, so first, I took a shower and, and then, I had um, my breakfast. I next I brushed my teeth. My teeth and after that Acuérdense que el orden de esto no es, no, es, no es importante, ¿verdad? Puede ser intercambiable, pero sí, primero esto sí va al, al inicio y finally siempre va al final, ¿ok? So, after that, I started working, I started work, I started working, uh, I in the afternoon, Ya yes, dije que fui a San Salvador. Uh, I started working in the afternoon. Uh, so finally. So finally, I will have a rest. Because I have been awake all day. And I feel tired. Bye. Siempre vamos a hablar del pasado, ¿verdad? La estructura del pasado. Pero...
But in the meantime, ahí está entonces, guys. Pueden describir cualquier cosa que hagan en el día o pueden hablarme de cómo cocinar algo, así como el video que vimos ayer. ¿Ok? ¿Quieren practicar en grupos? Vamos a ver quiénes están. Sí pueden participar, guys. ¿Ok? Porque no se vale que unos estén participando y el otro no participe con el otro. So, I need, para que no les diga de un solo, ¿ok? ¿Quién lo quiere hacer antes? I need you to practice. Practiquen unos minutitos antes. Okay. Después, guys, eh, vimos también el video de cómo preparar algunas recetas. ¿A dónde estábamos? Creo que era esta. ¿Acá? Present perfect. Present perfect. Simple past. Ahí tenemos las diferencias. Ocupamos el verbo en pasado. Acá en presente perfecto ocupamos el verbo en pasado participio. Ya contestamos este. What else? 4.3. Vaya, esto es justamente el objetivo de este siguiente tema. ¿Ok? Who wants to read instructions, guys? Instructions, please. Guys, let me know, please, si van a estar en la clase, porque si no, no puedo tomarlos en cuenta. Tenemos que hacer grupitos para que practiquen entre ustedes también. Yo? Can I? Ok, todos, todos. O sea, lo que quiero hacer es, es grupos. Ok, pero si okay. no veo a Jocelyn, no veo a Ada, no veo a Héctor, a Gisela. Oh, vaya, Iván, no le funciona, le, le, no le funciona la um, pantalla. I can't, I can't, I can't. Pero usted puede, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. You, you just have problems with the camera. Jocelyn, uh, I don't know. Yes. You, teacher. But I okay. have problem with my camera. Okay. Excellent, guys. Who wants to read the objective, please? Dos personas que lo lean. Me? Okay. Can I, Go. Yes, yes, Violeta. Me, teacher. And then, Hector. Sequence. Okay. Sequence adverbs to help describe a pro events. Often used of instructions. Sequence such as first, then, next, and finally contain information the order or actions and create incisions in writing. Thank you. The next, please, Hector. I think you read this part already, but let's do it again. Hello? Okay, teacher. In this lecture, from English teacher, lesson, joy sense, practice describing, recipe, recipes in English, recipes in English using sequence adverbs. Yes, this lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Exerc Exercise, comprehension, comprehension. Ok. Comprehension, exercise. Vale, eso lo leímos ayer, guys, y todavía hay unas palabritas que nos costó. Pero qué bueno, guys. Eh, so, we watched this video already. How do you prepare? Um, what is this, guys? This is garlic, right? Toast, toast to bread. What is this? Vale, démosles el knowledge check entonces. 
Um, help me read the number one. Number one, help me read. Can I, teacher? Yeah, yes, Jocelyn, please. Thank you. Which snack does this re receipt describe? Recipe. When the kernel recipe describe, when the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. Every few seconds. All right. Which snack does? Which snack? Repeat, everybody. Which snack? Which snack? Uh -huh. Which, which snack? Is snack? No, so it's which snack? Which snack? Which okay. snack? Okay. Um, so what is that? This the, the recipe. What is, what does that recipe describe? Um, popcorn. The popcorn. Okay. Number two, guys, can you read it? Me teacher. Okay. What, Go. what is the what is the last step in making guacamole dip? Uh-huh. What is that? Number First, well, uh -huh. finally add a little salt, pepper, and hot sauce. Okay, hot sauce. So, add a little salt. salt, pepper, pepper and salt and hot sauce. Hot sauce. Okay. The number three. What's the first step in making a toasted bagel? Bagel, okay, number bagel. Bagel, bagel. Number two, first, cut, cut, it, cut it in half. Okay, cut it in half. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. Okay. What about number four? Which sequence others are not inter, inter, interchangeable? Interchangeable. Interchangeable. All right. Which sequence adverbs? Okay. ¿Cuáles son los que sí se, se tienen que ir así por fuerza, guys? Y no, que estos sí no son intercambiables. First and finally. Finally. First and finally, ¿verdad? Finally siempre va al final. Ok. Y esa es la lección 2. Quiero ver la lección 4. Ya la terminamos, creo yo, guys. Is this for real? Ya. Ya estuvo. Vaya. Entonces vamos a hacer. Todos vamos a estar aquí practicando. Los voy a mandar a un breakup room. Ya les expliqué cómo, ¿verdad? Pueden hablar de eh, su día o que lo que les salga más fácil. O, por ejemplo, pueden hablar de su plato favorito. Eh, as I said, I don't cook. Yo nunca cocino. So, I, um, my favorite dish is like a scrambled egg, porque eso sí es súper rápido hacer. Un huevo estrellado. Uh, I mean, huevo picado. Eh, so... Ya les dije, ¿verdad? First, what I do is to wash the vegetables, then I cut the vegetables, I fry them uh, with a little bit of oil and, and a, on a pan, I put some salt and green pepper, I love green pepper. Sometimes I can put some uh, pepper, the regular pepper or black pepper, a little bit. And if I can, I can add like a, some cheese. Um, and after that, uh, I mix it, I mix it, and then um, I serve it with beans or cream or sometimes with plant, plant, uh, bananas or plantains. And that is why I love to eat scrambled eggs because they are very easy to prepare. That's it. First, second, and finally, se me olvidó decir finally, ¿verdad? Okay, but then after that, todos esos sí los podemos decir. Okay? Vaya, vayan a practicar a los breakout rooms ahorita. Somos 12, así que voy a hacer dos, tres grupos. Four, tres, seis, nueve, doce. Me hace falta uno. 
3, 6, 9, 12. Vale, vamos a hacer solo 4. No. Solo 3 grupos, ¿ok? Voy a hacer 3 grupos, van a quedar 3 de 3 y... o 2 de 4 por ahí. ¿Y se pone 3 de 4 y 1 de 3? Sí, así sería. Así sería. Igual lo hace el, 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 el break up room, se hace a, instantáneo. Sería tres, van a quedar, como dije, unos dos, quizás dos de cuatro. Uh -huh. Dos de cuatro y uno de tres, así quedaría. Vaya, pues, denle. Go, 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 go. Voy a cambiarlo si no están practicando, guys. <coughs> Héctor, eso. Vamos, Jocelyn. Christian and Anderson, what's up? What's going on? I guess I, I, I read I, about the, my daily routine. Ah, okay. 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 Good evening. Can you hear? Good evening. Good evening, Hector. Okay. Eh, nuestra, nuestra compañera Carla no, nos... nos eh, eh, compartir eh, la daily routine of okay. her guys denle pues mm -hmm. un minutito unos minutitos go, 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 okay. go, go. My, my daily routine today was Bye, firstly I woke up firstly. at 5am ok I woke up at the And finally, and finally, we accompany them with fruit and melted chocolate and eat. Hello. Um, Finish, guys. Hola. Yes. We are we are working. <laughs> okay, one minute, guys. What happens with the others? Y los demás. Okay. Uh, is working too. She is. She have person. People to attend. Ah, okay. She has she has people to attend, okay, to assist. 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 Okay. okay. Oh, so so you work in the same place? Yeah, no, no, no. She ah, works okay. in the aduana, I think. Ah, okay. I work in a hotel. You work in a hotel. Excellent. That's great. Okay, so did you practice? Ya, te, ya les di más de tres minutitos. Okay. <laughs> Vaya pues, one minute, un minutito más, guys. Prepárense. Okay. Hey, what's up, Rebecca? Oh, I have problems with my internet. Um, my internet is me. It locked you off? Uh, if you want to 
with you my work, <laughs> my homework. You want to share your homework? Yes. What was your homework? Uh, I'm, I'm writing to how to make party support. How to? Make party support. Ah, the past participles. Yeah, my recipe. 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 Yes. Okay, very good. Yes, Rebecca. So be ready. I am waiting for the rest to come. Um, so you're going to start. Uh, con usted vamos a iniciar entonces, okay? Ya tenemos a Xiomara. They, they probably finished already. Uh, I hope you are ready, guys. Remember, the most important thing is to use uh, then, after, before, uh, before, after that, first, and finally. Treinta segundos por lo menos, guys, okay? Lo más un minuto. Share screen. So 30 minutes will be enough. 30 seconds. No, 30 segundos no termina nunca. Ok, 30 seconds. Para que me lo digan en 30 segundos, lo más a un minuto. ¿Estamos? From 30 to a minute. De 30 a un minuto. Vamos a poner el stopwatch. Ok. I will, I will take notes. Mientras tanto, yo les voy tomando nota de su pronunciación o algo más que podemos mejorar, ¿ok? Let me share this audio. Si escuchan esto, que le hace ti, es porque ya se pasó del minuto, ¿ok? So, who wants to do it? Me dijo... Rebecca, que ya estaba lista para darnos, para hacer la primera. So, we're going to wait. Uh, I'm waiting for her. Who's going to be the second? ¿Quién más? Aparte de Rebecca. Me. Violeta. After Violeta, Carla. Ok. And me, teacher. And then Jocelyn. Ok. So from one to, from 30 to a minute. Okay, 30 seconds to a minute. Are you ready, Junel? De 30 a un, de 30 segundos a un minuto. Vamos, rapidito. Uh, how to make barbecue pork. The ingredients, one hand of pork, uh, everything of peppercorn, two tables of paprika, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of brown sugar, one table of a shot for salt. We needed ketchup, soy sauce, honey, salt, and garlic salt. First, we cut the pork into small pieces to seize the seasoning. Then, we take a kitchen mortar and place inside the salt, the peppercorn, the paprika, the brown sugar, and the achiote, and, and next, search the ingredients until the break, the peppercorn, and obtain a reddish flour. After that, in a bowl mix, uh, in a bowl, mix the pork the with Okay. Yes, Janelle. Excellent. Uh, look, la próxima vez me gustaría que se ponga tal vez más cerca el micrófono porque se escuchaba bien lejos y poco, poco le pude escuchar. Ok, but what I heard, lo que sí escuché, pues que se emocionó hablando con todo. 
and it was really good. You were, you did, you did awesome. Me, me dijo un montón, montón, montón de cosas. Así que muy bien. Vamos con Violeta. You want to say, you want to talk about what? I have problems with my internet. It's okay, it's okay, Jonel. It's okay. Eh, vamos, Violeta. Eh, igual, si cuando quieran participar, acerquémonos el micrófono. Please get closer with the microphone. Go, Sumara. Eh, eh, well, I want to tip about pancakes. I make them. Eh, first, eh, the ingredients are for sugar, baking baking soda, milk, eggs, butter, and a little salt. Uh, well, if, uh, first, first, gather the ingredients, the receipt, then combine the right ingredients together. For that, you mix the wet ingredients correctly. Finally, uh, combine them and mix together of the ingredients. Uh, and... Muy poquito les estoy dando, ¿verdad, guys? Vea que no alcanzo un minutito. No. One minute and a half, uno y medio, entonces, sorry. Sí, yo ya vi que muy poquito, muy poco tiempo le di. Ok, pero ya casi íbamos en el final, Isiomara. Y creo que un minuto y medio tenemos suficiente entonces para ya terminar la idea completa. Good. Eh, Xiomara, you well, you were doing you were saying many uh, structures as well. Eh, your fluency was really good, even though se le corta it's your internet it's very unstable sometimes. I can hear sometimes you're fading and out. Se ve como que se le va la voz de repente. Um, just with some pronunciation, guys. Por ejemplo, no se dice ingre in ingredients. Se dice ingredients. Vamos. Ingredients. Okay. Ingredients. All right. Vamos. No se dice tampoco sal. Se dice salt. Salt. Okay. Recipe no es recip. Recipe es el recibo, ¿verdad? O un ticket que le damos, que nos dan en los supers, por ejemplo, cuando compramos cualquier cosa. Ese es un recipe. ¿Ok? Ya, ya. Si no lo repiten, it's ok, pero no me salgan otra vez con recip. Ok. Ahora, pancakes. Eso es en español, sería pancakes. Pancakes. Ok. Nice. Eh, very, very good. Vamos a poner un, un minuto y medio para los demás. Le vamos a dar 30 segundos para que termine la idea. Eh, Xiomara, usted sí se le escuchaba ah. mejor, ¿verdad? Así que dele 30 segunditos más. Go. ¿Who? ¿Me? Sí, usted le faltó 30 segundos para terminar la receta. Ah. Finally, combine them and mix together too much. Uh, be sure uh, still lumps of dry. That's all. And that's all. Okay, thank you. Make sure mm -hmm. you mix them. Excellent. Uh, make sure. Hey, asegúrese, ¿verdad? Very good. I, look, I like those expressions, guys. Estamos ocupando de las... De expresiones que ya, ya hemos visto, ¿verdad? Don't, don't forget, make sure, asegúrate, ¿verdad? No se te olvide, etc. Vamos con 30, 1 con 30 ya desde, desde ahorita, guys. Vamos con Carla. ¿Ready? Yes, teacher. 1, 2, 3, go. Uh, my daily routine today was... Firstly, I woke up at the 5 a.m. Uh, when the alarm sounded. Then I got up and I got up. So next I prepared to take my daughter to school. After I returned to my home and I did my housework. 
later I made lunch and I took my lunch with my family. After the afternoon, I started to work. So then I went to the supermarket because I needed to buy milk for making a dessert. And after that, I began my English homework. And finally, I did my homework for my English classes. And anything else? Okay. No, if you want one, you don't want to add anything, it's okay. Acordémonos, lo menos es de 30, ¿verdad? Ya vimos que si no nos alcanza, con un minuto y medio estamos bien. You're done then, Carla. Ya estuvo, ¿verdad? Yes. All right, very good. Carla, what I love is that you were doing, or you were saying many verbs in past. Súper buenas pronunciaciones con los verbos en pasado. ¿Ok? Sounded muy bien cuando me dice que la alarma sonó. También puedo decir when the alarm rang, ¿verdad? Eh, run, um, ring, run, run. Um, eh, school, acordémonos, solo, solo decir school, I went to a school, no, I went to school, to school. Eh, pronunciemos el desert, ese es el postre y el desert es el desierto. Entonces es desert al final, desert. Ok, lleva doble S. Ok, I prepared a dessert. A dessert. Ok, okay. excelente. Dessert. Simplemente eso, ¿verdad? Los pasados es que los está manejando súper bien. So, so, that is great. And great pronunciation. Aparte de la pronunciación, súper buena. Ok, then we, we're going to talk about, we, we're going to listen to Jocelyn. Just to check. <clears throat> Two, three, go. My favorite food is pasta Alfredo, and I prepare it like this. First, cook the pasta in water for seven or ten minutes with garlic and salt. Then I take the pasta out of the heat and let it cool. Next, I cook onion and red red peppers and green peppers and cook them with oil. And after that. I add chicken breast in pieces, then I cook it for 10 minutes and add chicken seasoning. seasoning. And next, I add the pasta and Alfredo sauce and mix. Uh, the Alfredo sauce, I buy prepared because it is very delicious. And next, I add mozzarella cheese and mix for one minute. And finally, I serve it with coriander. And this is all. Coriander, wow, delicious, wow, wow, I really would like to eat that. Where do you buy this pasta Alfredo that is already prepared? Yes, I buy prepared in Prisma. Oh, really? I buy it, la compra preparada, I buy it prepared, I buy it. La compro, I buy it prepared, okay? Nice pronunciation as well, the simple past and... I love the details when you're saying uh, all the steps. They were really, really good. El 10 minutes, cuando hablamos del plural, simplemente la S, ¿verdad? Hay que exagerar un poquito. Yo lo compro, diga, I buy it. Yo lo compro, la pasta. I buy the pasta, prepare. I buy the, the sauce, the uh, Alfredo sauce, prepare. ¿Ok? ¿Y los demás? What happens to the rest? Me teacher. Aha, uh -huh, ya me extraña, Gisela. Come on. Gisela, very good. Go, oh, guys. One, two, three. Fred ice cream. First, the edges of the bread for sandwiches are removed and we crush it until they are very thin. Then ice cream is placed on the already flattened bread and small balls are made. Next, the ice cream balls are put in the refrigerator for about two hours. After that, we beat an egg throw with the ice cream balls pass. Then four bread crumbs so that they 
are crispy and we put them in oil and then we see that bear, we see that they are ready. And finally, we accompany them with fruits and mental chocolate and eat. And it's ready to eat. All right, very good. Is that, is that a dessert? Uh, is that a dessert? Que me habló de ice cream. Ah, es que es un el, helado frito. Ajá. That is kind of weird, exotic, right? right? It's very cream. exotic, porque yo dije, ¿cómo es que está friendo? Se fríe el... That is crazy. Que... ¿Cómo freír el, este, el, el ice cream? That is crazy. Solo que como una cosita, no, no sé cómo se dice el pan de caja en inglés, por eso puse bread for sandwiches. Ajá, uh -huh, yeah, que... bread. It's bread, simple bread. A slice of bread, como una re, rebanada de pan. A slice of bread. So you remove the H's, nada más el plural, ¿verdad? H's, se, se remueve las eh, orillas, ¿verdad? H's. Las orillas de H's o solo la orilla de H. Su orilla, it's H. Su orilla, it's H. Okay, guys, excellent. We still have some time. Okay, who wants to do it? This is the class about, guys. Si no, pues mañana vamos a seguir viendo el presente y el present perfect y el pasado. Eso es lo que es lo que es. Esta sección completa, guys. Esta es una sección súper, súper cortita. Vamos, who's next? Me, teacher. Ok. ¿Amanda? Yes, teacher. I All right, share... Amanda. Yes, eh, um, thank you, teacher. Eh, I want to share one... Eh, Recipe. Recipe. Re recipe. Yeah. Um, my favorite, my favorite food are pasta and salad. Mm -hmm. And this is this is one easy salad and very delicious. Uh, first, I first the vegetable. Mm -hmm. Be First, I first, 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 I cut the vegetable, uh, are a uh, cucumber and carrot, cucumber and carrot, and yes, after I cook the pasta, and oh. and finally I agree. The vegetable, agrega, the mayonnaise. I add, yes. add, agregar, add, and uh, add uh, the vegetable, mayonnaise, mayonnaise, jam, mayonnaise, mm, jam, corn, and pepper. Pepper. And pepper. if Pepper. If you prefer, can you add chicken? Wow. En, en trozos, no sé cómo se dice trozos. Trozos um, de comida. In small pieces. Um, small. small pieces. Mm -hmm. Small pieces, uh, chicken. And okay. That's it. That's it. Sorry that I didn't play. I didn't place the um, stopwatch. I hope I gave you more time. Yo creo que le di un poquito más de tiempo. Sorry que le hice hablar más de lo normal. But it's okay. Um, let's say solo pronunciación con el first. ¿verdad? First, cucumber and carrot. Carrot. Cucumber. First. Cucumber. Repeat. Cucumber. First, cucumber. Cucumber. Yes, that is correct. 
Ok. Eh, me queda pendiente entonces Anderson, Héctor. Eh, son los chicos, son, solo los chicos son los más callados. Sí, yes, Héctor. I can, I can give you explain to repair a car. Ah, you want to talk about how to repair a car. Yes. Hey, that is great. Excellent. Vaya, ya nos van a dar clases de mecánica ahorita. Ok, vaya, Vanessa, usted está pendiente. Así que, por favor, ¿verdad? Anderson no contestó toda la noche, así que creo que no está. Vamos, Héctor, le vamos a dar uno, un minuto treinta, lo menos puede hablar, treinta segundos. Go. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Ok. First, push a comprehensive to kill for basic car repair. Next, get basic, a... basic, basic, base, base, ba basic car repair, repair, repair. Next, get a automobile manual to why you saw repair. After that, share for repair videos and discussion online for assistance. Share, share the compartir. Share, share, share for repair. Share for repair videos and discussion online for assistance. Discussions, okay. Discussion. Uh, after, fill out and keep a maintaining, maintenance record. Maintenance, maintenance record. Maintenance record. Has you work on your car? Uh, after that, take a picture of your car parts so you know how to put them back. Wow, hey. Excellent, Ivan. Thank finally, you. Finally, inspect your car for routine maintenance every 3,000 miles. Every 3,000 mil, miles. 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 Ah, vaya. Hay que revisarlo a cada 3,000 millas, dice ahí. All right. Yes. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Hector. So, guys, eh, basic, la pronunciación es basic en el lugar de basic. Repair, vamos todos reparar. Repair, repair, repair. So put it in repair. discussion, in discussion, discussion, okay? Discussion. Automobile, 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 auto, automobile, automobile, maintenance, mantenimiento, maintenance. 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 Maintenance, ok. Hay que tener un récord del mantenimiento que se le ha hecho, dice ahí. Y también para saber cómo volver a poner las piezas, to replace them, to put them back, hay que take a picture. Mira qué buenos ejemplos, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Hay cositas que uno las puede hacer, ¿verdad? Eh, si uno supiera, ¿verdad? Que no son muy complicadas. All right. And check your car every 3,000 miles. Ok, Está, hay que chequearlo. Excellent, guys. Eh, me falta Ada, Gisela. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, six, seven. ¿Quiénes me faltan? Anderson, Ada. Y Vanessa. Are you there, guys? Anderson escribió en el chat que está trabajando. Ada. Ok, Vanessa, your turn. <clears throat> ok. My favorite food is tacos. I like to cook desserts in the afternoon, freeze and prepare the ingredients. I cut some berries and uh, I, I add milk maria with condensed milk and let it red for three 
hours. Finally, we ate and eat. Finally. And finally. Yes. We ate and eat. ¿Qué me quiso decir la última parte? ¿Que nosotros lo comemos? ¿O we? Yes. We eat. Finally, we ate it. Uh, we eat it. Y después nos lo comemos. El ate es el pasado, entonces diríamos, ah, y nosotros y luego lo comemos Hablando de secuencia, entonces hablamos en presente. Entonces, we eat, eat. El presente es it. <coughs> Repeat, favorite. La pronunciación, guys, favorite. 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 ¿Cómo se dice preparar? Prepare. 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 ¿Y cómo se dice ingredientes? No es en in, 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 no es Ingredients, ¿cómo era? ¿Ya se los había dicho? Ingredients. Ingredients, muy bien, guys. Ingredients, ok. Ingredients. Excellent, excellent, excellent. excellent. Eh, Ada, que se... Ah, pues sí, eh, ni Ada ni Anderson contestaron, guys. Teacher, eh, Anderson ¿Sí? eh, eh, puso que está trabajando. I'm working. Ah, ok. Very good, guys. Ahora quiero que entre ustedes se hagan un par de preguntas en pasado. Ahorita hablemos solo en pasado, usando el verbo to be y el, los verbos eh, otros. En pasado, ok. Um, example. Did you prepare a salad for lunch? ¿Cómo me responden ahí? Mm, yes, I do. Yes, yes, I, I did. did. No, sería yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. También el verbo de un, solo, de un solo, en lugar de solo decir did, digo yes, I <coughs> prepared. A prepared. Salad. Yes, I prepared a salad. Y en negativo diríamos entonces no. No, I don't prepare. Don't? Oh, Are you mm, sure? No, I didn't. didn't. No, I didn't. Prepare. Excellent. No, I didn't prepare any uh, a salad. So, uh, what did you prepare? I prepared. Um, oh, I didn't prepare anything because I was in your job. Okay. Y así sucesivamente. Vamos a ver. Con, comencemos con Gisela. A cualquiera de las compañeras, hágale una pregunta, por favor. Las preguntas van a estar relacionadas, así que pongan atención. Please pay attention. Pay attention, please. May I have your attention, please? ¿Y por qué yo primero? Dice entonces. ¿Y qué tiene de malo, Gisela? ¿Qué es malo? Es que lo estaba creando, no sé si la hice bien. ¿Quién dijo miedo, pues? Uh, uh -huh. you, it's because you, I trust you and I need, I need, you are my leader. Remember, you're my representative here. Usted es mi asistente. Ya le, ya le habían dicho. A todos se los había mencionado que usted es mi, my assistant. Okay, go. Uh, no sé si la creía, pero. What did you eat? What did you eat yesterday? Ah, very good. Se lo digo cualquiera. Eh, ¿Quién le quiere contestar? What did you eat yesterday? ¿Me? What did you eat yesterday? Ajá, ¿y Violeta? Yesterday eat some breakfast eggs I ate I ate el pasado del verbo Yesterday I ate Sorry, I ate 
beans, cheese, and bread. A, for breakfast, all right? Bre um, in breakfast. Did you prepare it by yourself? Or did yes, you buy it? Yes, I prepared it by myself. Okay. Pregúntele a alguien más otra cosa, Xiomar. Okay, um, to... For... Mire, ahorita Amanda. solo tenemos a, ajá, a Amanda, Rebeca, y Carla y Héctor. Porque veo que los demás no están acá. Amanda? Amanda, ok. What did you wear working yesterday? What did you wear? What did you wear? Ajá, en your job. For working. En el trabajo, ajá, ok. For what working. did you work in your job? Or what did you work for, for work? ¿Qué ocupo para el trabajo? Um, I wear pasado eh, pasado I did pasado? I did wear no no uso did para pre, para hacer wear. afirmaciones sería verbo el pasado nada más I, I wore acuérdese I wore es, es el verbo usar verdad wear. ajá muy ajá. bien I pasado. wore Eh, Así sería, I wore, por eso les digo, guys, que cuando dicen work y no pronuncian uh, la K, estamos diciendo work, ¿verdad? Sería I wore, I wore formal clothes, formal clothes, ok. Uh -huh. So, you, you, wear, you wear your work. Uh, for the moment I Where are you? Do, do you go to your job every day? No, teacher. I, I'm not working uh, right I now. I don't. I don't work. I don't work right now, but I used the formal clothes. I wear. I wear. Yo uso. Uh, uh, yo uso sorry. es así. I wear. Yo utilicé. Yo usé. Sería I uh -huh. wore en pasado. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, I wear. Uh, wore. I, pasado. Uh, I wore formal clothes. Okay. Very I... good. Pregun Pregúntele algo más a Carla. Uh, what What did you do? What did you do the um, um, the Monday? For example. Monday, ¿qué son el lunes? What did you do on Monday, Carla? On Monday, I I worked all day, and um, in the afternoon I took a nap. Were you were you at home or were you in your office? In my home. I work in my home. Ah, okay. Uh, where you? Where you? Así le pregunto. Where you? ¿Cómo diríamos ahí, guys? Were you in your house or were you in your work? I was in my house. Excellent. I was, ¿verdad? Si le pregunto, did you work? Oh, yes, I worked in my house. Okay? Thank you, Carla. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Vamos a seguir practicando los tiempos. Okay? See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.